everyone here I am with another video and I finally finally ended this drawing some of you might know already that I wanted to complete this drawing for a while now and so many things happened I struggled with the concept and I struggled with a bunch of things and this drawing ended up being super delayed <laughs> so what is this drawing? this is the Aquarius sign for my zodiac series to be completely honest with you I'm not entirely happy with the results like there were a few people that were so eager to see this sign represented as my art style and I kind of feel bad for not delivering it they tell me they liked it but I don't know there are so many things that went wrong with this drawing one of the most evident is the placement of the character she is not centered and I only noticed that after I sketched her completely and I was like oh no I'm not going to redo this again <laughs> and I just draw the character without her being centered I guess I got lazy but I can also correct that on the prints so it was not that big of a deal there are a few problems with proportions as well if I finish this series maybe I'll redo this someday I don't know But anyway, about the sign, Aquarius are very eccentric. They are a very big pool of emotions as well. They tend to listen to others and try to help others as much as they can. But they end up like filling up totally like an aquarium they fill up all the emotion and they just burst someday they really need some time to get themselves together so can so they can be energetic again I took this idea and literally wanted to make my character as if she was the aquarium that was filled up and just dropping water everywhere that's why I made her cry she's not sad or anything she's just bursting into everything she came up with something like that at least that was my idea for this concept then I was losing too much time figuring figuring out how should I paint the tears I never drew water before in watercolors and the scale was very tiny so I was really afraid to mess it up because if I was doodling a big drop of water I think I could do it but in such a tiny drawing I was like how in the world am I going to do this then I remember that on the other zodiac drawings I used the gold ink to give some highlights to the elements I wanted to 
I wanted people to pay more attention to. And then it hit me, why don't I do the tears in gold? And I am really glad I thought of it because if I painted the tears and the water in plain black and white, it would not be noticeable at all. I also had a few problems here and there with color, but by the end of the day, it turned out acceptable, I think, and I got a really nice feedback, so I am glad. If I can, I want to redo this one, but for now, it's nice to have this one finish and move on to the next one. And speaking of feedback, I just noticed we hit 100 subscribers. Guys, thank you so much. Really, it's overwhelming to reach that number. I know it doesn't seem much, but I like to think if I was doing an, a presentation and all my subscribers went to the presentation, like, it's 100 people, it's a lot. And I'm really glad you stay here with me and I'm super grateful for that. Thank you guys. I want to do something different, but I am not sure what should I do. If you have some suggestions to celebrate the 100 subscribers achievement, please let me know. I'm not yet very comfortable with giveaways, but if, if a lot of people want it, I would consider it, definitely. I would also want to do a drawing your styles challenge, but I'm not sure. Doing a collab would also be great. I never did a collab before and I'm not very experienced how it really works, but it would be awesome to try it someday. But anyway, I hope I can correct this picture as much as I can when I do the print because the fact that the picture is not centered really bugs me but I think it's a really easy thing to correct the problem will be some of the proportions here and there Even though I sound like I hated doing this drawing, it's not true, it was really a lot of fun. There were a lot of challenges that I had to overcome to complete this piece and I had a lot of fun doing it. It was not an easy sign, that's for sure. So this is the final card, finally, and I am so glad to be one third of the way. So I already have four signs. You can see the other speed drawings on my channel, except for the Libra one, which I didn't record it, but soon I'll be finished with all of them. I hope you guys liked it and see you next video. Bye!